Once again, a movie not made for me, but I can appreciate its hard work. Applause to everyone in this film, and I will make this short. Oppenheimer is a physicist who must work on a top secret Manhattan project during World War II. A team of scientists along with Oppenheimer spent years developing the atomic bomb. Their work came alive on July 16, 1945, and many witnessed the world's first nuclear explosion changing the course of history. Well, <laughs> I haven't felt dumb in a while, and usually I can keep up with biopics that include scientists like The Theory of Everything. I enjoyed that movie and understood all of it. And Christopher Nolan directed this film, and his stuff tends to be more intense and out of this world. He loves to explore new ideas and open our minds to new realities. And I saw it with this movie, with the type of editing and color grading and the cinematography style. The story was fully about Oppenheimer's personality and very little about the explosion. The number of actors played in this film is crazy. A full pack cast from Robert Downey Jr. to Remy Malik, Emily Blunt, Cillian Murphy, Florence Pug, and the list goes on. It feels as majority of great actors were combined into one film except for a couple of guys. I was just not sure about having them in this one, but everyone deserves a chance. It's a very political type of movie and a lot of back and forth with the type of editing. It has a lot of information and it can get heavy. And this is where I got lost. On top of the physicist talking, my brain <laughs> went out the door. You can stay, but I'm leaving. yellow if they're using late season apples. And of course in Canada, the whole thing's flip flop. I know they talk in simple terms about how the atomic bomb was made, but any science terms just, just not grab my attention. When it comes down to the talk about the tri the I mean the trials and whatnot, I was able to keep up, but again, way too much involvement. It just makes me aware of how serious a matter the government can get when it comes to trying to ruin someone's life. And we get Oppenheimer in the beginning being this amazing smart person. Then we get transitioned to him becoming a human being with the consequences of his actions, realizing the decisions he may not have been the right one. Following just such a powerful weapon, if it's in the wrong hands, it can be devastating. My only negative review is the sex scenes were not necessary, or at least not so much revealed. I see why it was used for the purpose of certain scenes. And it is about the biopic of Oppenheimer, so yes, we get the whole he's getting around. And as well, the over-the-top editing of back and forth got a bit too confusing for me personally. So overall, I might not enjoy the movie because I felt dumb and not interested in it, but I did get the message behind the three hours I spent scorning in my seat. So if you love biopics or history combined with science, this movie can be amazing for those interested in the genre. The most memorable part of the movie was the soundtrack played throughout the entirety of the film, which get me engaged as much as possible. And Oppenheimer should be nominated for the Oscars for the soundtrack, screenwriter, director, best picture, editing, and cinematography. So go ahead and watch it. It's just not for me. And that's all I have for today. Here are some YouTube recommendations. Subscribe or like to see more. Until the following review, have a nice day. Bye.